Welcome to online learning subject work experience for class 2. I am your teacher Ms. Rabia. Today we are going to learn about lesson 5 keyboard and its keys then lesson 6 typing in wordpad. Before that let us have a look at the learning objectives. Students you will be able to recognize different types of keys in a keyboard and its functions. Working in wordpad, saving the file, opening saved files and exiting the wordpad. You have already learnt about keyboard in your previous class. Keyboard is an input device. It has many buttons which are called keys. These keys are pressed to type words and numbers into the computer. These keys are also used to give instructions to the computer. Keyboard contains many keys which are used to type now children, let us learn about different keys and its functions. To begin with, let us start with alphabet keys or also called as letter keys. There are 26 alphabet keys marked with A to Z. These keys help to type words and sentences. Number keys. The keys marked with digits 1 to 9 and 0 are the number keys. There are 10 in number. They are used to type numbers and digits. Children, note that number keys are present at two places on the keyboard. Above the upper row of the alphabet keys and on the far right of the keyboard. This is also called as numeric keyboard. Now let us learn about the special keys. Special keys are used to perform some particular functions. First, enter keys. Enter key is used to move the cursor to the next line. It is also known as the return key. There are two enter keys on the keyboard. Now we are going to discuss about the backspace key and the delete key. Let us begin with backspace key. Backspace key is the key marked with the back arrow. It is used to erase the letters in the left of the cursor. Delete key. Delete key is used to erase the letters but to the right side of the cursor. You can also delete the selected graphics and text using this key. Shift key is used to type symbols and capital letters when it is used in combination with other keys. There are two shift keys on the keyboard. Symbols are present on the number keys. These keys are marked with digits as well as symbols. To type the symbols like at the rate of, percentage and star and plus, we need to press the shift key along with those number keys. Caps lock key is used to write the alphabets in capital letters when it is on and in small letters when it is off. Keyboard has a light for caps lock that indicates whether the caps lock key is on or off. Punctuation keys are used to put punctuations such as comma, full stop, colon, question mark, hyphen, etc. On each punctuation key, there are two symbols. One is marked up and the other is marked down. If you want to type the symbol which is marked down, simply press the key. If you want to type the symbol which is marked up, you need to press the shift key along with the punctuation key. Control key and alt key. The control or CTRL key is normally present on the bottom left corner as well as beside the arrow keys on a keyboard. Alt key is normally present on the right and left side of the space bar. These keys are mainly used in combination with other keys to perform many useful functions. Key combination. A key combination is used two or more keys on a keyboard to generate a specific result. You can press these keys either at the same time or one after the other while holding down each key until the last key is pressed. Some of the popular key combinations are Alt plus F4 
closes the current software window then control plus alt plus delete restarts the computer now children after you have learned everything about the keyboard now let us start to work on it how to start to work on it we are going to start to work on it with a special program called as wordpad so what is a wordpad a wordpad is a word processing program that is used for typing in computer you can type letters words sentences and numbers in it wordpad can make your document more beautiful and attractive now let us see the steps to begin the wordpad starting wordpad to start wordpad you need to follow some steps for the first step is click on start button the start menu will appear second click on all programs a list of programs appear you can scroll down to see accessories step 3 click on accessories and step 4 click on wordpad the wordpad program will appear in front of you so children this is the wordpad window after opening the wordpad program the following wordpad window will appear so children it is very important for you all to know the different parts of a wordpad program the first is the title bar the title bar is located at the top and shows the name of the displayed document so whenever you save a document with some name that name appears on the title bar quick access toolbar it displays quick access buttons for save undo and redo commands file menu in it displays a drop down menu of file commands such as new and open tabs home and views are two tabs in wordpad ribbon it displays groups of related commands in tabs each tab offers shortcut buttons to common tasks cursor it is a vertical flashing line on the screen where you type the text now this is the wordpad window children now let us learn how to insert a text in the wordpad with the help of a keyboard yeah the first thing which you need to keep in your mind is the text you type will appear where the cursor blinks in the wordpad screen so what is a cursor the cursor is this blinking line which you can see here let me increase the font little okay so that you can see so the blinking line which you see here is called as a cursor now let me begin typing a sentence for you all oh wordpad is a sorry a wordpad is a processing program that is used for typing in computer i hope children you have observed over here as soon as we finished the first line automatically the cursor went to the next here what you can see is when you reach at the end of a line wordpad automatically sends the text to the next line you need to press the enter key only when you want to start a new paragraph now let me show you how to select a sentence to select a sentence just go to the extreme left of the of the line and just click once so the line is selected let me select and show you other line i'll show you this line just click at the end of the sentence and the line is selected what you have to do to select a word you just need to double click on the word now let me select again inter interaction i'll double click here see the word is selected but if i want to select a line i just come to the extreme left of the line and click once so that the line is selected 
so now you learned how to select a line whereas just coming at the left side and clicking it and how to select a word just double clicking on the word now if you want to select a paragraph just triple click triple click means click three times anywhere on the paragraph the whole paragraph is selected but if in particularly if you want to select uh, two sentences or three sentences you just need to click and drag the mouse button for selecting the text hope you understood this once again i just want to repeat click at the extreme left of the line to select the full line double click on a word to sorry double click on a word to select it and for the whole paragraph you can triple click it hope you understood children children you have already learned how to select a sentence, how to select a word and a paragraph in the word pad. Now, let us learn how to make it bold. Here I have typed and copy pasted few sentences which are all same so that you can find the difference. So now first let us learn how to make it bold. So to make it bold, first I am going to select these two lines over here. I am going to select the sentence over here. After selecting it, I will go here. Can you see this B? yes just click on it and the selected part becomes bolder it becomes bolder the shortcut for making it bold is select it i'm just showing you once again select it and in the keyboard you can press ctrl plus b if you just press ctrl plus b this is a shortcut key to do it from the keyboard okay yeah this is the way you make your sentence bold to make your sentence italics again you need to select the sentence and next to b you can see this i yes when you click on it your uh, your lines becomes italic you can see the lines have become little slanting now you can see the difference between bold and making it italics now let us again i'm going to select the sentence and i'm going to click on underlining text so if i want to underline some text over here first i need to select it and click on u okay the shortcut for making it bold is control b the shortcut for making it italics is control plus i and the shortcut to underline is control plus u so after learning this i hope you have understood how to make it bold select it and click here how to make it italics select it and click here how to make how to underline your text select it and click over here now children after this let us see how to change the font style font style means i'll just click over here see i'm selecting it hope you can see this yes here we find different font styles just if i click on some you can see how the font style is changing to you can change your font styles select whatever you like see this is the way you change the font style hope you understood this now to change the font size you learned here about the size style now to increase the size i have selected this and i'm going to come here and here this is the place where i can increase or i can decrease the size of the font see children oh my god this is too big okay yeah so this is the place where we can increase or decrease the font style after this let me tell you how to change the font color so everything is black here isn't it we all like uh, using colors so here i'll just click this here i have after selecting it i go here can you see this a yeah just go and click here you're going to find different colors see again i'm selecting this yes i'm going here i'll select blue okay yes see it's changed to blue now now let me select this sentence again and i'm going to click it on green so here you can see children how to change the font color these are the things which you have learnt now. You learnt how to make it bold, how to make it italics, how to underline, isn't it? How to change the font style over here and how to change the font size from here and how to change the font color. 
i hope you understood children but the thing is you need to practice again and again to learn better because practice makes perfect children while working with word pad you must save your text in the computer for future use so the work which you have saved will be stored in the hard disk of your computer permanently so now let us see the steps to save your document now as you can see here there is no name they have just given document word pad now after i save this word pad file you can see the change name so what are the steps please follow this click on file then after clicking on file here click on save the save as dialog box appears here you can type the name which you want to give to your file for example i am going to give class 2 class 2 word pad class 2 word pad and i just click on save over here now after clicking on save now you can see here class 2 word pad now this file this word pad file has a name which i have given it as class 2 word pad isn't it now children the shortcut key for saving your document is control plus s from your keyboard now after saving your document sometimes you need to open it i'll just close this and show you okay i'll just close this i want to open the word file which i have closed now i'll just go to file i'll click on open after i click on open in my folder here i can see here class 2 word pad i just click on this and click on open so okay so my document which i had saved is open here now uh, you have learned now how to save your document how to open your saved document and now you're going to learn how to exit how to come out of the word pad just click on file and click on exit this way you can see your desktop screen now hope you all have understood the basic things and the features of word pad Here are few shortcut keys which you need to remember. To make the font bold, click Control plus B. To make the font italics, press Control plus I. To underline, use Control plus U. To save a document, press Control plus S. To open a document, press Control plus O. To open a new document, press Control plus N. Children, I hope you understood the lesson. properly but the thing is you need to practice well you can take your english reader or evs reader and start typing and formatting by changing the font color font style font size underlining it making it bold or making it italics so practice makes perfect see you all in the next video take care bye bye